is in this video i am freaking super excited about this new update that figma just introduced which is figma's ai i'm pretty sure most of you probably have this feature by now if not close figma open it again do whatever or maybe just wait for a few days but it is freaking mind-blowing the amount of stuff they actually got right the first time is amazing and obviously it's going to improve or keep on improving in the future so let's try out a bunch of things for the first time i'm going to go ahead and actually ask it to create a first draft of something maybe we can actually ask it to generate something like um, a chat an ai chat application with voice functionality i've made some spelling mistakes but i'm not going to ignore that because obviously it's ai so hopefully it can actually decipher my mistakes so there you go we have an ai chat app in just a few seconds which i think is amazing obviously we have the voice function here as well i personally felt like obviously it could have done a better job but one thing important to note here this is a first draft right you can actually take it to different places now check this out we have different colors here as well light mode yellowish whatever so on and so forth let's probably go ahead with something like this so we have this once i'm actually done with this i can even click on the make changes option and i can optionally decide additional things here as well should it be black should it be something like this what color do i actually want it to use and stuff along those lines maybe it should be as you can see, even the text color is updating based on how light or dark these things are, which is amazing. So I can go ahead and I can say, okay, maybe the radiuses shouldn't be that hard or maybe it should be completely round. I can also decide how much spacing should, should there be between elements, what the text font is actually going to be and all of that stuff. I can even go ahead and actually uh, ask it to do some other changes. I'm gonna go to make changes again to open it. And I'm gonna say, hey, make it pop. I don't even know what that means. Let's probably just try out one of the suggestions that it actually gave us and see if it's actually doing any popping popping thing here. So no, the pop thing doesn't work. So obviously that's unfortunate, but we can ask it to obviously, let's say change the content. So I can say add emojis to the conversation. We can probably do something like this and hopefully it should be able to do minor things like that here uh, in this particular design. <clears throat> So as you can see, it added the emojis, but obviously it messed up a few things here as well. So we can just go back to the colors and we can just change the colors and it's automatically gonna fix it. So again, no big deal, but I mean, it's amazing. I feel like it's doing a really great job. And as you can see, things are really labeled correctly on the left as well. We have auto layout actually being there as well and all of that magical stuff. So what are some of the other things? So I actually have a design here, as you can see, and I wanted to actually see the prototyping feature, which obviously is, an important and a time consuming thing. So I'm gonna ask it to make a prototype based on these designs. So I'm, I've selected all of the frames and I've asked it to make a prototype and let's see what it actually does. Is this like freaking real? We have magic going on in front of our eyes. Like, I mean, honestly, it's amazing. And one other thing that you actually see is when we're in this mode, if something actually gets missed like for example i think it missed this that clicking on this should actually take you here and then clicking on this should actually take you back so it missed this but i'm in the prototyping view and it actually allows me to do that just in case it missed something so let's test it out so i have this i'm going to click here that's working fine i'm going to click on the cctv that's working fine as well back works clicking on table lamp takes me to table lamp all of that's amazing we have the statistics I can click on kilowatt, obviously that's something that I fixed here. I can click on this like voice command option, that's there as well. I don't even know what this does, okay. Uh, so clicking on the settings, take me to settings. And I mean, it's amazing how many seconds did this particularly took. Sure, it may not be perfect, but this is the first time we're getting access to it. Imagine what it can do in let's say, and a year from now, I like it even scares me to imagine it because I can imagine it can actually, it should be able to create designs like these purely from scratch and obviously link them together. So, I mean, things are not looking that good, but still <laughs> amazing. I don't even know what to feel about it, but I feel super excited. Okay, let's let's see some of the other things. So renaming a layer, as you can see this particular design, I actually picked it because most of these things were not layered correctly. So let's see how good of a job it does with renaming. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
So as you can see, it's renaming these things and I personally think it's doing a great job. So menu container, that's that. We have the subtraction at the background, that's that. This is the background, sure. Info card, you got that right. We have, what, what else do we have? We have the welcome message, sure. Device list container. Is this like freaking insane? What the hell is going on in front of us? I mean, <laughs> Honestly, it's amazing. Okay, what are some of other things? So obviously we have translation, we have making an image and stuff along those lines. Let's actually try translation. Well, I mean, we wouldn't really be able to try much because obviously we have different types of translation. So you probably have to see how your translation actually works. I'm just gonna convert this into Arabic and I don't even know Arabic that much. So I don't even know what this actually means and whether this is a correct translation. I mean, amazing stuff. Let's have a look at some of the other things. So we have replace content. We have shorten, so I can obviously shorten things up. So maybe this is a bit too long. I wanna shorten it. So I'm gonna say that I want you to shorten this out. Let's see what it actually does. Control home electronics from your phone. Okay. I mean, amazing stuff, honestly, I'm impressed. The other thing that I'm actually impressed about is ability to create content and replace it easily. So imagine I'm just gonna go ahead and actually drag this up right here so you can see it. So I go here and I basically need more items like this. I'm just gonna go from the bottom and I'm just gonna drag it. And as you can see, we basically would have this content replaced. Obviously I didn't really do the fill container and stuff, so it's not resizing, but we have duplicated content based on the type of content that was above it. Is this freaking insane or what? I can actually show you this particular thing by going to, I think here. So we have this same, a similar concept here being uh, applied. I can basically just go ahead and drag this and it's going to give me some of the other things that are related to that. I can also go ahead and I can say, hey, I want you to replace this content or let's go ahead and actually replace this one since this is slightly uh, smaller. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to say replace content. And as you can see, it's just gonna go ahead and actually update this content as well. Is this like freaking insane or what? Obviously it's not doing the icon replacements and stuff along those lines, but it still is amazing. What else do we wanna cover? Another thing that I actually wanted to cover was making an image. So I'm gonna ask it to make an image and I'm gonna say, give it something hard. Like for example, I want you to uh, create a 3D cube on top of a 3D cylinder or maybe a 3D cone. Create a black 3D cube on top of a, of a black 3D cone on a gray surface. Let's go ahead and actually see how good of a job it actually does that in terms of envisioning it. Now, honestly, tell me guys, is this freaking insane or what? The quality that I have here is pretty awesome. Imagine creating these illustrations, creating these 3D graphics directly just by typing a few prompts. Amazing stuff, honestly. There's, there are a few other things like obviously removing the background. So let's see how removing a background actually works because I know we have a lot of other tools, but this is a great, I mean, what the hell is going on? Let's just actually see how did, how well did it actually do this job? Is this freaking insane? Is this freaking insane? I mean, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I mean, amazing stuff. And then obviously in some of the other things we have pretty basic stuff like obviously shortening text, rewriting things and stuff along those lines. I know that obviously ChatGPT and some of the other AI tools can do that. But in terms of the features and some of the things that Figma has introduced, props to Figma, amazing release. I mean, super excited about it and Obviously excited to see how Figma progresses and evolves this in the future. So that's pretty much it. Do subscribe, do hit the bell icon and I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.